Hey there, folks, and welcome to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody Saunders. I am here to do Valheim 30 minutes at a time. And this will be a new character I'm spinning up just for this purpose. New world and everything else. I'm going to go one piece at a time and try not to waste too much time, but also I'm not going to be too worried about it. I got 30 minutes. That's how much time I'm going to be spending on each video, on each session, and we're just going to see how far I can get. All right, it's going to go ahead and create the character. I'm just call it Val. I'm 30. How about that? Nothing special. Let's get some hair on this guy. That looks good to me. Bright white. Just so I can see myself. That looks fun. Uh, hair tone is good there. And super bright. It should just be bright, bright, bright. Look at this guy. He's just bright as can be. And uh, here we go. Okay, that's him. I'm gonna start with this character, and we're going to make a new seed called Val 30. And for the seed, I'm actually going to use Valheim 30. 30, like that. There we go. You can use numbers here. Done. Great. So that's the seed I'm gonna play with. And here we go. Now we get to spend some of our 30 minutes on the back of a bird. I should say in the feet of a bird. In the claws of a bird. In the claws of a bird. I'm going to say it's, is it Valkyrie? Valkyomer? <sighs> this loading is going to, that's going to get me right there. Look, I've put over a thousand hours into this game. Granted, many of those hours were just away from the keyboard overnight waiting for farms waiting for boars and honestly I've started several games and this is about the longest loading I've had in a while okay I was about to give up on it but here we go folks did you know that long ago the all-father Odin united the worlds he threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again. In Valheim. Uh, dot 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 okay uh, so this is Valkyrie uh, I kind of think his feet look a little funky uh, looks like he could maybe uh, change his diet a little bit those really really sharp joints you know what I never really noticed but Valkyrie's kind of got a cute butt yeah I mean I'm not hating it what about the rest of you? Oh, careful, careful. I'm I'm fragile. Careful. Look at me, I'm fragile. Don't hurt me, buddy. Oh god. Oh lord. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Well that was four minutes, everyone, and uh tell you what I'm not gonna do is spend too much time messing around with you being able to read all these little things. Uh there's our buddy, we're gonna go for him pretty soon. I'm gonna grab in some rocks and stuff. Uh I think one of the things that I've learned along the way is, is you, you kinda wanna look behind this kind of right when you get here. Just grab yourself a few snacks. So yeah, one of the things I'm not going to do is spend much time acting like I've never played the game before because, you know, that'd be goofy. I've played the game a plenty. There's some raspberries. 
All right, great. So those are, you know, I'm gonna start those pretty early. Get going with some eating, cause that's healthy. Everyone should eat healthily. You know, I don't always eat healthy, but I went to the doctor recently and he said, hey, you got pre-pre-diabetes, cholesterol's out the wazoo. Um, I'm concerned about your liver and, and you need to take vitamin D. So what did I do? Well, I didn't drink for a week. I went back and I gave him more blood and he said, guess what? Your liver's fine. I knew that. It was the holidays. I mean, I went between Christmas and New Year's. Of course my liver was a little bit hotter than normal. No big deal. You know, like I say, we got through it. Um, I spy with my little eye a nice little starter shack over here. No reason to work harder than I need to. And let's see what's going on here. Okay. Good stuff. Not bad. Just the proliferation of torches in this game, you know. Sure, one day I'll need a torch, but that day is not now. Go ahead and make myself a hammer. <sighs> you know, I play with a controller. Some people might think that's silly. Um, but who are you to judge? Okay, so I'm going to run around here, find some more things. Yeah, Hugan, you got a lot of things to say, I know, buddy. Uh, but we're, we're not ready to talk, because you know what? We've only got 30 minutes at a time. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is get enough sticks to make an axe, enough rocks to make a fire. I think I already have plenty of stone, uh, but I have no wood. Yeah, hi, Boar, I see ya. She don't see me. Okay. Seriously, I need to find five sticks. Right? Almost there. Loving this. Right by the water. Okay. I see another stick up there. Uh -huh. Hi, buddy. I'm going to play with you later. Not right now. Just trying to get the basics. I think I can just hit these, right? Yeah. Oh, you guys want some too? Oh, look at you! I'm so used to playing. Like I'm going through the missiles on a very large server. And, uh, which is interesting. They do rebuff, uh, refill, reload things from time to time. But right now, the Mislins, I mean, there's a hundred people on this server. It's been combed through. All right, cool. So I can make a stone axe now. And, uh, as Arnold Schwarzenegger said, get to the chopper. Here we go. And I will need one more rock to get a fire going, because one of the first things I want to do is get rested in this thing. And I need a fire for that. Okay, plenty of wood. Where be one more rock? I think I saw it around. Saw a rock around here. Now, granted, I could turn the vegetation down to low and do all sorts of things just so I could see things better and speed up things, I guess, but where's the fun in that? You know what I mean? I'm trying to survive here. You never can have enough tin in the early game. Grab as much of that stuff as you can. It's not going anywhere, but eventually I'll pick up a rock. Here we go. All right, there's my fifth rock. All right, let's get back over here and let's make a fire. And yeah, you know, if you're playing the game for the first time, I'm going to say you want to sit there and listen to Hugin and see what he has to tell you. I guess I got the name right. I'm not looking it up right now. Oh, yo. I mean, seriously, I got a black metal axe on my other character. This is excruciating. Okay, 
Now, fire pit. First fire pit. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in here. This is a nice little, nice little house. Mm, I'm gonna put it behind. I'm gonna put it behind and just build out a little separate place for it. Okay. Come on, come on. Come here. There you go. Ah. We have fun. Okay, so here we go. Let's build that fire. And uh, let's get it under some covering because, of course, we need that. So we're going to get the workbench set up. Right here in the back. Perfect. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, Hugan, he wants to talk to me. Perfect. All right, so then uh, we can build our roof structure. Finish that off. <laughs> Boom. Boom. All right. And a door. Need more wood. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, get that comfort going. You know, just sitting here for a little bit. Um, long as no enemy sees you and you got a roof over your head and a fire nearby, you're going to get that comfort. Even three is better than zero. Okay, ten minutes in. And I've got a fire and I've got shelter. I've had I've got berries and mushrooms. I'm doing okay. Good. All right, get a door. Just to kind of have my basics finished here. And I'll start farming some meat. I mean, I've got one piece of necktail, so I think I can actually go ahead and cook that up here in a sec. I like to chop this way for the stumps. And you know, I you don't have to cut the stumps, and of course it's a little bit of a waste of effort and a waste of energy early on. I mean, I'm going to get additional axe skills out of that, but not any more than cutting any other thing and gonna chop it several times and just get one piece of wood but I just think it makes things look nicer and I'm in a guild on the server I play on regularly called Comfy Valheim and there I am a ranger and rangers are always on the lookout for stumps to get out of the environment just to make things look nicer for everyone I think it's just a good habit. Just for the aesthetic though, there's really not much else that's actually a tangible benefit. All right, so of course, since there might be a rain soon, anytime, I'm gonna want a, uh, just a little, just a little cover for the fire, you know? Nothing special, give it enough space. Uh, this will be good enough for now. In a bigger storm, you might need a little more coverage, but, you know, I'm just, like I say, just trying to get this thing started here. Okay, give myself a door and go ahead and repair the rest of the existing structure. Just so in case something big and scary comes after me, it at least has a little bit more work to get at me. Okay, looking good, looking good. And uh, use the workbench to repair my new equipment here and go ahead and dump off some stuff that I don't really need right now. That's the other thing, you know, trophies in this single kind of server scenario, they're just really not going to do much for you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cook this meat, by the way, just so I have another thing to eat. So we'll build the spit. Put it right over this. I like to build a couple of them over the fire. You can kind of put them pretty close. So I'd like to do that so I can cook as many things as possible. This one might not be over the fire. Let's find out. Oh, it looks fine. It'll cook if it's there. That's the only cookable item I have. Uh, I think I'm happy. I'm gonna keep on while that's cooking real quick. Cut a few more of these small trees. 
get a little wood. While I'm waiting for that sizzle sizzle. There it is. Sizzle sizzle. Of course, I'm already hungry. Those berries don't last long. I'm gonna need more food. I'm gonna need more a bed as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm here in case I get a boo-boo. Of course, I would just reset right there at the spawn point one way or the other, but this way I have my home and when I'm ready to sleep, I can do that as well. Yeah, hey, Hugan. Uh-huh, thank you. Cool. I'm just gonna interpret that as, hey, everything's looking great. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more repair here and some of the structures from the outside. That's cool. Got it, I see. And yeah, just for, just for consistency's sake, not any other reason, I'm gonna go ahead and make that <laughs> extra piece of roofing. All right. Now, before long, I'm going to want to put some fencing around, and I don't know, to be honest, maybe now, because one of the very first things I like to do here is uh, start training some boars just so I have some meat pretty early, so let's just go ahead and do that. Don't need a whole lot of wood. It's one piece per fence post, and I'm just going to put a little kind of perimeter fence. Fifty or so wood should be plenty to get started. And I can soon get a flint axe, I think. But I got plenty of time. That's the good news. Look at there, mushrooms. Right by this little home. A little extra mushrooms, that's great. I'm gonna do later is uh, make paths and flattened spots where mushrooms are. That's one of the things I love to do. Just so I can remember. Some people like to put them on the map. I say that makes the map a little bit too busy. Instead, I like to make trails, but I'm gonna focus on that fence first. Just kind of getting my safety perimeter to find and ability to start training boars. You know, if I can do that in a half hour, I'm going to be happy. If I can get a boar in a fence starting to get trained, I'm going to be happy. It's already 17 minutes. Keep on chopping. All right. All right. So I'm going to see how much fence I can make out of this much wood. Okay, just a basic fence. I like to do this and then put the pike fence in later. Notice we can't build right next to here, so this is about as far as we're gonna go. You know, one of the problems of putting your base right next to the thing is you're gonna have a restriction on where you can build, but you know, it's okay. Just getting started. This is my own server, you know. And uh, for sure, there's an advantage of being near the boss stones. Once you do kill the bosses, so you can kind of set your skills or buffs that you want from there. Of course, later you will have portals aplenty. But uh, for the first little segment of the game, you know, just get yourself close. So yeah, we've used uh, 18 of my 60 or so logs. Like I said, I'm gonna get this entire perimeter. Because uh, <laughs> um, the more it's spread out, just the less bad things can get you. And also give me a little bit of the lay of where I'm at. You know, I, I took the first little house I can get. Not like I'm trying to find the flattest spot or anything like that. 
Not at this point. Okay, we're kind of quickly running through these wood. There's plenty of wood to gather, so I'm going to keep doing it. And I find that in this kind of scenario, even if I make... Uh, I'm going to cut this one down because I will need more wood anyway, and it's in my way. I want to make a perfect little thing here. Get out of my way, beach. Does that look like it's going to fall right on me? Let's find out. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, looks good. Yeah, here we go. Wood cutting up to 14 already. 20 minutes in, and I got 14 on wood cutting. <sighs> With all that flying in on the Valkyrie, it's more like 15 minutes in, you know what I mean? <sighs> Take a quick break, think about what, what I'm up to, think about how life goes. What's happening? All right. That berry health is about to run out. Ouch. Okay, there we go. All right, this will be plenty of wood to get me around the corner here. Come on. Yeah, before I, uh, you know, take out the boss or get much further, another thing I'll do, of course, is uh, put up the stronger fence. For now, I think the only risk is that there might be a skeleton attack. And, uh, I'm not too worried about them. Alright. While I'm at it, I will make a club. It's got 12 blunt, as opposed to the stone axe, which has got 15 slash. One thing I don't always do is really like play with like which weapons best for which enemies. So might play with some of that down. Go ahead and repair some of my stuff. What does the hoe need? Two stone. I kind of want that hoe, and I kind of want that flint axe. It's not all I want, but it's something I want now. All right, I'll be making some torches soon enough. Oh, I do have the flint. Look at that. Let's do that flint axe, y'all. No reason to keep wasting time with that silly stone axe. I'll keep it in my inventory just so I have the backup. Put that there. I'm trying to figure out the best arrangement. I usually have a different kind of control set up, so... But I don't want to do mods for this round, so it's going to be a little different for me. So bear with me as I learn a little bit of that. 22 minutes. It's dark. I've got my fence around my place. I feel pretty good, pretty secure. But uh, I'm going to go get another neck. And if I can, I'm going to maybe kill one boar if I can't find any raspberries. Just so I have three different foods to eat for tomorrow's adventures. Yeah, so now that's there, it's perfect. Get that dude. I think if you pay attention to the color that shows up above the head when you're killing something, it tells you what's up. Let me see. That's white. I think that means that's pretty decent way to chop it. Uh, let me let me see. Let me try to chop this one and see if that's a lower number. Oh, uh, gray. No, that's white too. 8.6. Alright, so it is cold now. Yeah, he's going to tell me what's up. He's going to, yeah, you're wet. You're going to suffer. Reducing stamina, open the flame, all that stuff. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, I'm going to cut this, though. All right. So because being here at night is just more taxing, I'm going to go ahead and go take a nap. Reset to the next day. Still got five minutes. Got a couple of neck here. I'll be cooking in the morning. But might as well go ahead and just go to sleep now. 
Good night. Hmm. <laughs> I was hoping I'd have a dream. All right, do I have two stone? No, I do not. All right. I'm going to get a couple of stone if I can. All right, so, right, like I said, I'm going to cook these next. So, we got four of them going, no problem. Oh, right, so I uh, think flames or torches kind of help things stay away a little bit. But they also will freak out <clears throat> boar. So if I'm going to try to tame a boar, I need it to be on the edge over there away from the fire. All right, so that's definitely what I want to do. Let's tame that boar. Neck, mushrooms. <sighs> I like to have three foods, but I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen any raspberries yet. Okay, so let's see. Like I said, I'm gonna tame a boar. I want a little spot here for it. I'm gonna wanna make a gate door for it and all that. Yeah, don't hit your own fence. Repair it, no problem. These little trees don't ever do anything. Hello, a stamina? Okay. Where are you, Birch? Funny. Okay, not worth it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Repair my own fence. Uh, <laughs> our, our tear it up. One or the other. All right, we're at 26 minutes. <laughs> there we go. Repair, 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 repair. Okay. Repair, 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 repair. Okay. All right. Put a door here. Now, these things will rot if they don't have anything keeping them from rotting. And it's pretty simple to put a roof over it just to keep it at the highest level. Okay. And pop one of these on there. Nothing too fancy. We can't be having it be unrealistic, so let's go ahead and just finish this off. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Now, so that's... <coughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna work. All right, let's turn it the other way. Uh, does that snap fine? That's fine, right? No, let's do this. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't have the thing there. Okay. And then, uh, boom. There, look at that. Perfect. Okay. Um. Come on. See? Isn't that pretty? All right. Cool. That'll just keep it from weakening. Not a really big deal, but, you know, it's something. Okay, like I say, I'm kind of trying to build a little boar enclosure here. And I'm just going to run one in. And uh, I don't know if I'll even have time for it, because I only have one and a half minutes left on this 30-minute Valheim. <laughs> Missing one wood. Look at this. All right. Okay. So let's just do this. And pow. Pum. Okay. There we go. All right. So this will be my initial little boar training enclosure. I'll just be able to keep some wild boar in there and feed them some mushrooms and get them trained. We got 29 minutes now on the clock. Here's a boar. Come on, buddy. Just get in here. We're just going to start with one. No big deal. Hey, ow. That was mean. You bit me. OK. 
Okay, here he comes, and he's in, and we're done, and we got a boar. Look at that. No problem. Run away so it'll chill. And then come back and give it some mushrooms. 30 seconds to go. We've already got a boar in the cage. We've got some mushrooms. Really need to make a hoe, find some berries, start kind of carving those locations out. But uh, we'll get back to that tomorrow. If I got time, which I don't, I would kill that deer. But I don't have time, so that's it for now. And uh, we'll see you next time.